An app has two main components, the UI and the functionality, AKA everything behind the scenes. And if we look back at the websites and apps that were built earlier on in the internet's age, the UI is not that good. Compared to the stuff today where we have very extreme UI designs, there's a stark difference in how things look and feel. And due to this fact, right, because of the jump that UI has made in addition to like just applications as a whole have made, it really got me to question if UI plays a bigger role or smaller role than we might think. Like does UI really impact an application? I would like to talk about that. And so why I'm discussing this is because I've been on both sides of this argument, right? Like I've built out good UI in my opinion, like this is just an okay app. I know it's not compared to like the craziest things, but I really worked hard to make this UI as good as possible from the gradients to the grid background to the way everything is organized. And I spent just as much time on the UI to the functionalities on this course website. In addition, I've built something like a starter kit where I didn't really heavily focus on the UI, rather focus on things such as functionalities, uh, Stripe integration, authentication, stuff like that, that would be more heavily focused on the application rather than not worrying about design. But what really pushed me over the edge is seeing these types of applications. I'm a big fan of Magic UI. I love UI libraries. I love everything about design. It's, it's a big part of why I like being a developer. However, seeing applications like this, which this is more of like a starter kit, like a design starter kit, it is so extreme and actually got me to question whether or not design like this, like look how crazy this looks. Perfect, perfect, perfect everything, right? Like the looks, the button, the, the gradients, everything just looks perfect. And it really got me to question whether or not something like this plays a bigger role in the success of an application or not. And so here's what I mean by this, right? The goal of most applications is either to help users generate profits or like probably it's probably a mix of both. And I think, right, to a certain extent, the UI will help you out. For example, something like this will probably be bad for your application. Like you don't want something to look like the 90s websites. It just looks so bad for what we have today. And again, my argument for for UI mattering is the fact that really bad design will hurt you, will hurt yoi. Okay. In addition, you know, smaller things like weird looks will probably make people question whether or not your site is real. Stuff like that, that although shouldn't play a role, like if your website is ugly, more likely than not, it will impact the way the user looks at your applications, right? That's just my way of looking at things. However, you probably already know this and you know that to a certain extent, good UI and focusing heavily on the UI only plays some part in it, you know, to a certain extent. However, I think there's a good argument to say that UI doesn't really matter as much as we might think. And here's where I'd like to introduce you to the law of bad returns. Now, what do I mean by this? I simply mean, right, to go from point A of maybe bad UI, imagine this is just bad UI, from going from point A of bad UI to point B of semi good UI is much better return. It'll give you a much better return on investment to exceptional UI. And I think spending the time and effort from going from this to this is just not worth it for the return that you get. And you know why? I'm actually going to be honest with you. I just think that users just don't care. I know for some applications, I'm not saying for all of them, that you want your users to have like a really good UI. Maybe you're a UI library. Maybe you're making something for developers. There's a general exception to that rule. But for the most part, right, let's say you're making a website for a chiropractor. I was actually having this discussion with someone in my Discord server, which is in the link down below, by the way. And you know, he's talking to me about whether or not he should like really go in all in for the UI. But I'm like, why care so much about it? Like a chiropractor will not want something like this. Why would a chiropractor want something this crazy? A, it doesn't fit their, their style and B, they don't care. They're not developers. Only developers really care about stuff like this. Like, do you really care what editing software I use here? Probably not, right? In addition, the amount of time it takes to build something like this is just crazy. And I know there's stuff like this, which is like, you know, you can just buy this and then plug it, plug it in. But not a lot of people are going to pay for something like this. And they're going to spend a lot of time, a lot of days working on something so simple. And I just think if your goal is to, is to develop applications and build cool shit like we are doing here, why do this? It's really, I think, in my opinion, a waste of time. And the final point on the no side, I know I've talked a lot about, you know, UI not really mattering this much, but is that we forget who we're making the applications for. I know I talked about the chiropractic thing, but we tend to be selfish developers, right? We want to make a best looking UI, but it's not really for the person. We're usually doing it because we want to build something cool. Instead, I'm at least what I'm trying to do is stop worrying so much about building something really, really, really nice and instead focus on functionalities. I could have easily for the starter kit just went all in with the UI. I, I don't see the 
point in it. Instead, just have light and dark mode, something really simple, and just hyper focus on the functionalities. Like I'm, I thankfully did. I, I built this in a month, and I'm I'm happy with how it's gonna turn out. But yeah, if you want to join the Nizz's community, then I'll leave that down below. It's the coolest Discord channel in the world. I'm always there if you want to talk to me. Also, if you disagree with anything I said here, let me know down below. Um, I, you probably do have something to disagree with, but I'd really like to know your side of the argument. And yeah, if you like this video, then check out the video on the screen. Happy coding, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.